everyone, it's Heather. Welcome back into the Paper Castle. Um, I wanted to show you all what I was experimenting with um, the past couple nights. <clears throat> uh, a few videos ago I showed you this product here called Iridescent Medium, which I absolutely love. And um, so I'm going to show you how to make some, it's kind of like glimmer, glimmer paint with um, some iridescent medium and um, distress reinkers, but you know you can use any reinker you might have any dye ink reinker. I haven't tried it with pigment yet. So um, let's get started. Uh, what you're gonna do first? Now a little of this goes a really long way. The first you have to shake it up really well because when it does settle, there is this much glimmer in this. It's it's filled halfway to the top with glimmer. So it's pretty thick. I tried to get this stuff out with a syringe and it did not work. So I'm using this little tiny spoon that I took from the mall when we got our little gelato samples the other day. <laughs> I swear I'm gonna be one of those old ladies that, you know, has all those sweet and lows in my purse. <clears throat> Because, you know, I, I take everything and save everything and use everything. Okay. So I put three little spoonfuls of this stuff in this big container. I don't really have any paint jars right now. So what I'm using are my old empty Bare Essentials containers at the moment. But you can use anything that you have handy. Hopefully something, you know, taller and deeper than this because <clears throat> this has to be mixed a lot and then you're just going to add some water almost all the way to the top okay and then uh, in these smaller ones I used um, I think three drops of reanchor so in this one I'm thinking I'm going to add six and this is tumbled glass. Okay. And I'm going to screw the lid on tight because before I did this video, I had a very bad accident with uh, the aged mahogany over here. And it, it looked like, you know, a crime scene in here for about 15 minutes till I got it all cleaned up. It wasn't pretty. Okay. And then I'm just going to take a toothpick and start stirring this stuff up. And hopefully my battery does not die before I finish this because it looks like it's going to die. Now the first time you make this, you have to stir it up really well. After it's all stirred together, you don't have to stir it as much. But you do have to stir it every time you use it because there's so much glimmer in this that it really settles kind of fast. Okay. And that's it. So let me get a piece of cardstock and a brush. And I'll just paint some on here for you. Now you can make this darker, lighter, whatever you want. This is kind of a light color so it's probably not showing up very well. But Um, I did some other samples to show you, but once it's dry, it's really, really pretty. I would probably add some more reinker to this because it's really light. But let me show you the other examples and the other colors that I made. I only have four reinkers right now. I have um, tumble glass, aged mahogany, worn lipstick, and stormy sky. So I painted some of this lace. It was just white. I painted it with the stormy sky. And I know it, it's not coming up on camera very well, but it is very glimmery in person. So that's one example. This is the worn lipstick on a piece of cardstock. And as you can see here, you can really see the glimmer. Um, this is the stormy sky and the worn lipstick painted together. 
And then of course, because they blended, kind of turned a little purple in the middle there. So that's good for backgrounds. I'm not real crazy about this one, but it's still good for backgrounds. Um, I tried to stamp with it. The best thing to do, because this is so watery, is to use a, a solid, a more solid stamp. You know, fine detailed stamps aren't going to work. But because my basement right now is a, a mess with furniture moved all around because of the flood, I can't get to a whole bunch of stuff. But I did manage to get to this dragonfly stamp, which is fairly solid. So this is how this little guy came out on um, cardstock with the worn lipstick. And I kind of like the distressed way it came out. So then I tried the stamp again with the worn lipstick and the stormy sky and kind of did this is first generation, second generation, third generation stamping. Um, so I'm not thrilled with this background either but like I said you know I just started experimenting a couple days ago so but I figured I'll show you guys my my successes and you know my failures and we can all learn together but my very favorite one that I made was with the aged mahogany I sprayed a piece of cardstock, crumpled it up, and then painted the aged mahogany on it. And I ended up with this. And it's really shimmery, and I absolutely love it. So, I'll definitely making, be making more of this. I'm just bummed that I spilled half of it all over the table. But, thankfully, the table is a non-porous surface, so I lucked out. So that is how to make glimmer paint with iridescent medium and distressed reinkers. Um, this stuff you can find in the art aisle at Michaels, and it's very inexpensive. I think it's eight dollars a bottle, and with a coupon, you know, it's like four or five, something like that. And the stuff lasts forever. A little goes a very, very long way. And, um, you know, it's a lot easier um, or a lot more cost effective than Perfect Pearls because I love my Perfect Pearls and I like making Glimmer Mist with them, but you have to use a fairly good amount and then I'm using all my Perfect Pearls and, you know, I get upset. So, um, so this is a great alternative. Although, do not use this in your Mini Misters because I was trying to make, um, glimmer mist and this stuff is so thick and heavy that it just clogs the nozzle right up and you'll ruin your mini mister like I did so I made paint instead so I hope you all like that and don't forget to enter my giveaway if you haven't already it's still going until tomorrow uh, Friday the 8th at 12 noon Eastern time you can still enter up until then and then I will be picking a name so I already have 90 comments already so thank you guys so much and good luck to everybody and um, if you like this technique or you have any comments about it or any suggestions please leave me a comment because I love reading all the things that you guys have to say so thanks a lot everyone and I'll talk to you soon bye